What's up guys, we're over here at Spirit Halloween in Milford. I am still on the hunt for a two scoops and the new side steppers. Let's go inside and see if they got them. Okay, the widow is waiting right here. It looks like she might be broken. Oh no. Oh no, she's just resetting. Somebody had just set her off. Let's get her going again. Maybe? <laughs> there she goes. I love her so much. Good to see you, widow. All right, we'll go around the corner here and they have nothing. Hmm, that's kind of weird. I wonder what was here. Let's go around the other side and see what they got. They might have poor George over here. That's usually who they do have. Okay, poor George, do your thing. Poor George is so awesome. I love all the clown stuff. They always have a new good clown animatronic every year. All right, around the corner from poor George, they do have a straw man set up right next to the fire. You aren't afraid of little me, are you? I feel like I haven't seen him in the last few stories that I've been at. I like how his arm is just about to catch fire. <laughs> Good to see you, straw man. There is a ginormous stack of animatronics here, guys. They are always so well stocked. Two, no, four of Man's Possessed Friend. Poor George, little skelly bones. We got some dagger mics there. We don't see him for sale often. Slim, two of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I want him so bad, but I think I like Party City's version more. Though I do love the pretty woman mask on him. They also have Stilts, the Howling Spirit, the Widow, Darling Dolly, another Slim right there. They have the inflatable set up on an aisle instead of against the wall this time. Lots and lots of them. All the ones we love to see, including the this one that we saw a lot of last year, the Killer Clowns Inflatable, that is eight feet. I don't know if it's eight, I think it's eight feet long. I don't think it's eight feet tall, but it is very cool. They have all of our favorite masks here, including the new Martian Warrior mask. And look at this, they do have Nozzles, the Toxic Clown. I don't see him everywhere. He is $45, wow, for that mask, that is crazy. They also have some of the Star Wars ones. This one's probably my favorite, Darth Maul. They also have Emperor Palpatine and Chewbacca. <laughs> they have the doormats here. If you guys haven't seen these, these are awesome. They did a great job with them this year. Mars Attacks, look at that, Invaders Welcome. That one is probably my favorite doormat, but we also have a few cool ones over here. Chucky, look at that. That's an awesome Chucky doormat. And look at this one, it looks like the great with Pennywise peeking out at you. That is awesome. Let's see how much these cost. I don't think I've ever checked the price on these. $22, that's actually not a bad price. Another cool one that they have right underneath the Pennywise one is Michael Myers. Welcome, we've been expecting you. And he is right there peeking down the stairs. Check this out, they have ogre ears. That is hilarious. You could be Shrek for Halloween or you could make yourself into your version of your ogre. They do have the new and improved Ghostbusters Proton Pack. This thing is awesome. Look at that. New and improved from last year. Lots of awesome details. That is $90. It is so cool. I love the Ghostbusters. And if you're going to get that and be a Ghostbuster, you have to get the PKE meter. Oh, that one's not going to work. That is too bad because these are so cool. Wait a minute. There's a tab. We got to pull the tab and get them to go. PKE meter. There it goes. Look at that. That is so awesome. If I was going to be a Ghostbusters, I would totally get that and the proton pack. And then you'd have to get the Ghostbusters jumpsuit right there. And look at this, they have one for my size, 2XL. That is too funny. You can be a large Ghostbuster. Check this out, they have some of the rare bag clips. All right, figural bag clips. These ones have all the characters from Spirit Halloween, including Cerberus, that's the one I want. They also have the Grave Watcher, that is awesome. Only a couple left right here, but they're probably gonna get more boxes of that. I've actually been seeing more of that lately. And they have the Zombie Babies. I got a bunch of these and I actually got the two-headed one which is a exclusive and that one is awesome look at this they do have the popcorn gun we've been seeing more of him lately it's about every maybe three or four stores that we see him now 
$100 for that, and I want it so bad. I'm probably going to end up getting it later. And they also have the cotton candy gun. That one is so awesome. I hope I get to see a couple of killer clowns coming to trick-or-treat this year. As far as the costumes, they do have Shorty and Spiky and Jumbo. They have these masks, but I do not see any more of the over-the-head masks. Those ones are rare to find. There is one horror baby, Sam. We see a lot of him. I love ghost face and leather face but they are almost always sold out they have a couple of the zombie babies the hand eater what is his actual name snack and stevie i gotta start calling them by their actual names they have snack and stevie and Go gorgeous george i don't know why it's so hard for me to say that gorgeous george right there and this guy right here what is his name flippin freddy plenty of bobbleheads they always have plenty of bobbleheads which is awesome because i love them halloween michael myers behind the sheet go Ghostface, I love that one so much. This one is awesome. The Exorcist doing the spider crawl down the stairs. Hannibal Lecter, the Killer Clowns one. That one kind of sells out quickly, but they have plenty of them this year, so I don't think it's very hard to get him. And they have Michael Myers hiding behind the bush. And we have the Snow Globes. Michael Myers is one that we honestly don't see as often as the others. He is so very cool. And we have Pennywise here and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I love that one. He lights up yellow but that's not working right now they have one chucky doll but they do not have glenn glenn sells out very quickly and i've noticed that people are buying him and trying to resell him for more money which is a little bit unfair but oh well he is very popular they have plenty of the awesome blankets but what i am keeping my eye out for is the spirit halloween one that has the characters on it we saw that at one of the stores we were at recently and it is so awesome but they do have a bunch of the great ones they do have a night crawler here we are seeing him pretty often crouchy Sam, Nightmare on Elm Street. That is an awesome one. Look, it says <laughs> Piggy. <laughs> that is too funny. I do love all of these blankets. I'm definitely going to get some by the end of the year. Check this out. If you're going to be a cowboy, they have some awesome stuff here. Western Spurs. That is hilarious. You can put spurs on any pair of shoes that you want. That is awesome. They also have a lasso bolo ties look at these cow earrings that is hilarious this is so funny look novelty eyewear with sideburns if you're gonna be elvis for halloween that is so funny they also have the elvis costume right there look at this the elvis presley cape oh my gosh man they really have some awesome elvis stuff here here's a space blaster i think we saw this last year Ooh. That is very cool. This is $13 for the Space Blaster. Look at this inflatable costume. Party pooper. It looks like you're sitting on the toilet. They have a couple of the drop-down spiders. I definitely want to get him and see how well he works. And they have the fly-around bat. This is very cool. You hang him up, and he flies around in circles. This is $10. That is not bad, and that would be an awesome addition to your spooky decorations. They always have some awesome hats here, and plenty of them. Let's check out what they got. They've got the bowler hat, fedoras. These are some awesome fedoras crowns they have chef hats down here deluxe captain hat i like this one it's a top hat that is hilarious i love it maximum moki wanted to see all the south park stuff they have some awesome inflatable costumes here eric cartman here's a kenny one they usually have some more but i don't see them right now these are 60 dollars a piece and they look awesome they also have some really funny socks those are very cool look at kenny on there and then tally here's a tally costume Look, he's got a cheeseburger. I don't think that is included, uh, but this is $40. Mockham Blue 2819, I think I'm saying that correctly, wanted to see all of the superhero costumes for adults. This one is Spider-Man for $55. They also have the muscle chest Batman right here. That is $60. Here is another Batman muscle chest from Batman versus Superman. That one is $60 as well. And we have Superman down here, also a muscle chest costume, and this one is $55. I think these count as super superheroes. We have Miss Incredible for $55, Mr. Incredible for $60, and they have Frozone down here. That is so awesome. He is $70. I wonder why such a price difference between these ones. Ninja Turtles are technically superheroes as well. We have Michelangelo, and there's a female dress down there and a shirt, but this one is $50. That one is very cool. And you can get a crossbody pizza bag too. They also have the eye masks and Leonardo's katana right there. And look, they have Leonardo up here and 
another Leonardo. <laughs> I thought they had one other one. Uh, I guess not though. Crazy Monkey Reacts wanted to see the Sonic Kids costumes. And so far, all I see are like these jumpsuits or whatever they're called. These are $50 each. We have Sonic, Tails, Shadow right there. And they have the plush guys right here. But if you're going to get the costume, I would totally get these rings. These ones aren't going to make sound, but usually they do. These are so awesome. They make the sounds that the rings make. There we go. This one works. Listen to that. That is so cool. I love it. I would totally get one of these costumes and a couple of these rings. And speaking of things that make sounds, if you've never seen this before, check this out. They have plush Mario things that make the sounds that go with them, including the mushrooms and the turtle shells. That is so awesome. I love these. They also have Wolverine right here. This one is $70. Wow. They have a couple of these too. And look, they have Gambit. Is that how you say it? Gambit? I don't even know who that is for $80. All right, guys, that's it for Spirit Halloween and Milford. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.